Hello, everybody. I am live. These bags are so heavy. So heavy. Oh. My receipt is somewhere in my Ikea bag. And I will tell y'all how much I spent and how many items I got when I find my receipt when I start pulling stuff out. I got 91 items though. I do remember that. I think this bag is all pants. Whew. Hot. I got the fan on. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but it's hotter than the devil's ass in this room. So the fan is staying on. Lo siento. And I have my bin city. And I have a box. So we shall see how much stuff I end up putting in there. It's definitely been nice not having to list some of the inventory that I've sourced. Hello, Mindy. Happy Monday. I hope you guys are all having a good Monday. I've been productive. Um, I got 10 listings up to eBay Mercari, and so far, 20 to Poshmark. I photographed 50 items this morning. I'll probably get like 10 more up before the day is over. Um, I need to pack up these four or five little Amazon FBA items I got and send those in. But maybe I'll do like Fulfilled by Merchant because I just don't want to send in like a little ass box. But they're sitting over there and they're not going to make me any money unlisted. And listing on Amazon is so easy. Hit my tooth. Thank you, Mindy. I've been trying. I only listed 30 items last week, so I'm like, I really dropped the ball last week, so I really need to, you know, pick it up and go into overdrive this week. So if I could list 30 items today, that'll be a major head start over last week. Oh. Hi, Megan. I have you could make it. Girl, no. I don't want to come take pictures for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate taking photos. It's not the worst. It's just, I don't know. I've, it's probably least favorite though. I got this game changer alert thrifting on Instagram recommended this. It's a universal um, phone holder lanyard. And it saves so much time not having to turn around and pick up my phone and re-unlock it. Like, it took me probably a little over an hour to photograph 50 items. Probably like an hour, hour and a half. Because with this, you know, you it's a lot of turn around, set your phone down, put the item on the hanger, turn back around, grab your phone, unlock it. Like, it's just too much. But this game changer, they're like $12 on Amazon. Um, mine is by the brand Gear Beast. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. It saves so much time and makes photographing not as much of a hassle. Um, but yeah, last week I only got 30 items up. <clears throat> Excuse me. I only got 30 items up. My sales for, we're in June. My sales for June are better over May so far. But if I don't pick up the pace, you know, it's like, do you want money? Sometimes that's what you really got to ask yourself. Do you want money? Because it's looking like you don't. So I just got to pick up the pace. Um, I'm selling items quicker in June, which is good. My average um, days is down. But that's all I have to report, you know, me and my little spreadsheets. Oh, look. See, and I don't need to get a bad bag. I really, oh, I hate doing photos. Oh, see, look, a hoodie. That's a good little, you know. I almost built, like, a little shelf in the corner. 
I could just set the phone right there instead of having to turn all the way around and putting it on my desk. But this, honestly, it just saves so much time. It's crazy. Hi, Ashley. I hope you had a good Monday so far. I haven't started yet, but I'm going to go ahead and start. I got 91 items for, I don't know where my receipt's at. I spent like 120 bucks, which is good. Um, I have two of these bins, and then I have a box. I'm going to put items from Flip, items that I'm going to list on Flip in here. I listed four or five lots last week, and y'all know usually I only get 70 items, but there are definitely some items in here that I feel like I wouldn't take the time to list, but they're good, you know, little filler items. So, you know, a little extra money coming in if I'm paying 80 cents an item. Any money's good money, you know, and I can still source a lot and get that out the way because I do like shopping. So sourcing is fun for me, but know that I'm not taking on the responsibility of listing all of these items because no bueno. Thank you, Ashley. I'm my black is coming back and I'm like overdue for a haircut. I was thinking about putting a color on top of this blonde, though. I could get it rebleached. I paid the girl 80 bucks. Last time to get my hair bleached professionally, but it, it was bleached the best my hair's ever been bleached. But I don't know if I want to pay that again. It's up there. I'm going to go ahead and start, though. The first item that I got, I got for myself. We'll see if they fit me. I paid $3.20 for these. They are Bechamel Extra Large New It Tags. Like a vintage little like chambray pants and I wear these high waist sandals. <laughs> That's all I wear. Um the four pants that I got last week only one pair fit. <laughs> so I yeah the rest are getting sold unfortunately. I'm probably gonna keep cutting it. I just don't have the patience for long hair honestly. I don't <laughs> at all these are cabbie size four i photographed all those cabbies from last week today that's low-key the last thing yeah i'm probably gonna list today are those pants so i feel like they'll sell quick but these are some new tag cabbie size four for the i think yeah i think blue was 80 cents for 80 cents i'm gonna list these myself probably get listed for like 40 I got these because I've never found Elizabeth and James before. Their stuff is very expensive. I believe that's Mary, Kate, and Ashley Olsen's brand. Um, but these are some joggers. I paid like six bucks for them. They're size large. And there are joggers that have sold for like 30, 40 bucks on Poshmark. Um but it seems like they sell a little bit lower. But I got this mainly because I've never found the brand before. And I know a lot of this stuff is going to flip. So I was trying to get, like, you know, some better brands from my closet. That'll look good in there. Um, Eileen Fisher, size small. I believe these are silk. I paid up for quite a few items. Yeah, 100% silk. Like, dotted wide leg pants. This is, I think, the third week in a row I found some Eileen Fisher pants. I paid, like, six bucks for these. These are Vince. I, is this, I, this might be everything I paid up for. Uh, I paid $8 for these, size 8. I looked these up in the store. They're the black pontinet riding pants. Uh, I have a pair of them in blue, but they're flawed. But these sell for good money, so I was cool with paying 8 um, they've sold for up to 60 and that's good money. So I could go ahead and buy those. These were 80, so it goes zero. Just some pussy knit pants. I had a decent amount of pants. There was so many people in the dresses. So I think I only got three dresses. And then I went to the pants in because 
the dresses <laughs> were colors and just regular shoppers. Um, and people really like the pants. And I found, you know, Rag and Bone for a dollar in here, Hudson for a dollar. I think I found some Paige, like some good brands. So I would, I used to never go through the pants section because I always thought I had to do like flat lay photographs and I didn't want to have to like bend over and readjust every single photograph and do all of that. But I just put them on a hanger, put them on the wall in front of my one little studio light and I put them in Snapseed, the app, and I edit out the little crease in the wall because it's in a corner and sometimes my window gets in the photo and just like that. So now I buy pants all the time. And you make good money on them. These are Hue, uh, sold at Nordstrom. I'm going to flip accepts these. They wouldn't take the good luck gem pants that I tried to upload. So we'll see. Uh, these are Universal Thread New Tag, size 6. Just some black skinny jeans. Can't be new, new at tag items for 80 cents. Uh, thank you, Guilty Pleasure TV. I appreciate the compliments. Hi, Zero. Hope you've had a good day, a good last week. Uh, these are Zara size four. Flip take Zara. So all of my more plainer pieces that I get are going to them for now on. And we'll see how this goes, you know, if, because I've had some lots from Flip, it is surprising because it's like the items you wouldn't think sell fast, sell faster. Like I have some really cute, you know, free people dresses and Art and Co and Misguided and Nanette Lepore, like some really nice, you know, BCBG, White House Black Market. Dresses that have been sitting, like I've extended the three months that I'm, I'm supposed to sell them for the girl. I've extended the three months and they're just sitting, but items like Talbots anymore. But when they were taking Talbots, those tops were selling quick. Brooks Brothers, uh, fucking J. Jill, Tommy Hilfiger, like, but the other stuff is sitting because sometimes people don't want to pay that higher price point, even if it is resale. But it's just crazy because, like, I find some cute stuff of some brands that they don't take that I know would sell quick. But we'll see how quick these items end up selling for somebody. Um, it's F. I think it. I think they're on Android too now. They were iPhone only. It's F L Y P. referral code. I think there is some type of referral program. But pretty much it's the app for resellers. I'm not like associated with them or anything. I just think it's a brilliant idea. Um, and you can source on there. So right now there are a hundred. Well, look, let me see my referral. Share your link. Is there a code? Whoa, I don't know if there's like a code. I can share a link. I'm like, are they going to make me really type this out? Good thing I'm a fast typer. But so you can list items on there and people pretty much go through the lot. And if they want to sell your stuff, they'll apply to sell it. And they will tell you how much they believe they could get for the item and a commission price. There goes my referral thing if you want to. I flip. I believe you get money. Um, I get a $25 gift card when a reseller uses your link and wins their first lot. I'm not sure if you get anything, but instead of a super chat, you know, if you join flip, that would be a really nice way to show your appreciation for me. <laughs> you want. But so there's these lots and you can click on it. This person has 26 items. Malou, Paige, Lucky Tea, Sparkling Fade, Honey Punch, Frame, Cooper and Ella, Ralph Lauren, Nike, Corey Lynn Coulter, you know, like Anthropology, they're, they're typically better brands, but if you don't have a lot of sourcing opportunities in your area or, you know, you don't have transportation or you're low on gas money or you really just don't have money to be sourcing, you can apply to sell and I'm not going to... 
I'm not gonna click it because I don't need any more people's shit to sell right now. But you can apply to sell and they match you up with people. You can apply for however many you want. There's like 120 lots on here today. And give them a commission. I recommend doing at least 50-50, if not 60-40, you taking 60%. Um, but yeah, that's how it goes on the buying side. Or on the seller side, you can list your own lots. So like I listed this, it's going to a girl named Gabrielle. And it's a new tag Zara shirt, a new tag mustard t-shirt, some Zara pants, White House black market pants, and two pair of Adrian Vadini pants. I paid probably five bucks for all of that. And I think it's 60-40, so she'll start paying me out whenever stuff sells. Um, and shipping's nine bucks, I believe, for all of it. And they just take that out of your money when they start selling. So it's like they front the cost on shipping. But that's flip. Highly recommend. Definitely highly recommend. Uh, these are Tory Burch pants that I paid a little bit up for. I paid four bucks. They're size 30s. They have this like Baroque prints um, on them. And they're kind of almost like a wax jean. I think, yeah, these are the Rag and Bones. This is an older tag, but Rag and Bone for 80 cents. Good deal. These Crocs are hurting my feet a little bit. I need to take them off. Um, they are wool. Nice little wool pant. For a dollar. Can't beat it. And they're designer. Probably retail for like two, three hundred dollars. Which is outrageous. These are some textured blue pants by Peck and Peck Petite. I don't know anything about this brand or how much these pants sell for. Um, I was hoping Flip would take them. But I'm going to look them up and see how much they sell for. Uh, Old Navy size 14s. New at tags. Blue, not blue, black dotted jeans. Hi, Jolie. Black dotted jeans. And Taylor. What size are these? Size 8. The skinny modern fit navy blue wax jean. Loft size. Too petite. Julie. Straight leg pant. All of these I got for 80 cents. A lot of the lofts and Ann Taylors will sell 18 to 25. Uh, these are garage denim, just some skinny jeans. I don't know if Flip takes them, but that's going to go in that box. Almost done with the first bag. These are some Hudson jeans. Size 14. That's tiny. I don't know if they're what a 14 ch children's. Do they make children's pants? Because, yeah. A 14. A 14 wear. Yeah. I don't know about that. So I'll try to find sizing and see what that's about. Let me know if y'all know what that's about. Um, I don't know if they're like, yeah, a 14, a big girl. Uh, but if I can't figure that out, they'll go on flip. Uh, these are White House Black Market, size small. Any White House Black Market that's basic like this is going to go to flip. I find enough black jeans by, you know, better brands. And I find so many of them. It would be different if I wasn't backed up on inventory. Once I get like really caught up and get back into the group of things with listing inventory. And I have like two of my friends have dropped off items. These are Talbot's A Petite Signature. A flocked uh, dotted black cropped pant. Two of my friends have dropped off clothes. And I feel like I'm just drowning in inventory. So I'm sure I'll slow down the flip at some point. But right now, if they take the brand, 
they can have it low key on some of them. I'm gonna keep my designer stuff. Their kids, thank you. So, I mean, I probably will list them. I don't really have any kids. Um, these are Gloria Vanderbilt size 14. I don't know. And you know what? There's a way if you guys are on flip to test if they take a brand, you can act like you're creating a lot and just keep changing the brand and they'll highlight it in red if they don't take it. Yep. So they immediately told me that they don't take Lori Vanderbilt. Okay. Let me see if they take Peck and Peck because that'll answer that question right then and there. It looks like they take it. Um, so I'll be listing the Blair Vanderbilt, but those will sell. They always do. And they're 14s. These are some really cute Banana Republic pink pants. These were the first ones I found. They are a size 8, and they are a linen rayon blend. And they're a pink wide leg full length pant. Really cute. Probably the most unique pants I found out of these. Um, these are Ann Taylor size four, just some printed textured cropped pants, kind of like a floral. Flip doesn't take Ann Taylor law, so those will get listed, of course, by me. This is the next bag. I got a lot of tops. <sighs> Jesus. Okay. So this is Universal Thread. Um, 1X for 80 cents. And it's like a soft pink button down. I think this is Calvin Klein. It feels like Calvin Klein. No, it's 41 Hawthorne. They don't take 41 Hawthorne. Little polyester top. This is a Zara basic medium. And I think this is cute, so I'm going to list it myself. And it has this really, really long belt. But it's like a fitted button up. Oh, these were cute. They're a size eight. I wish they were my size. They're Lauren Ralph Lauren drawstring waist, wide leg, like silky pants, and they're printed. A little boho style. Um, yeah, they're polyester. But you know, so really cute pants though. I got these pants for me. They are by a brand called Pink Clove and for some reason, that's giving me Revolve pink clothes. Let's look them up. Nothing better than being educated. They sell it on ASOS. Maybe that's why it sounds familiar. Uh, they're size 20, though, so they'll probably fit me like the short underneath. And then this is like see-through. But I feel like these are going to fit me, and they'd be cute, like, you know, poolside on my Vegas trip. I go to Vegas in, like, 10 days. Um, so we'll see if they fit me. But that'd be a cute little cover-up. Or outfit. I mean, just depending on what type of time I'm on. You feel me? Do they take Design Lab? Let's see. Because I have a lot of plaid uh, pants right now. And I could go without some. They might take it. These are Design Lab size 29. Plaid pants with the little zipper detail. They're cute. I just have probably like 10 pairs of plaid pants listed right now. These are Not Your Daughter's Jeans size 6. Ankle length, pink pant. This is so cute. I was so happy I found this. It is, can be, I paid like six bucks for it. The new tag. 
She's been following me around a lot lately. And this is the knife pleat floral blouse. It has the little turtleneck. It's completely pleated. And yeah, smocked stuff. Really cute. They're selling for decent money on Posh. I got two of these tops. We shall see how they do. They're by a brand called Sour Plum, um, but it's S O O R. And if you go on their website, very expensive. Um, $150 children's dresses. I paid like five bucks each for these. And they're 11 slash or 10 slash 11 youth. So like a big girl shirt. But they're these cute little blue like corduroy shirts. And they're children's shirts, but they were with the women's. Y'all know I don't go down the kids out of resale. But yeah, made in Brooklyn. Um little boutique, little expensive boutique. And it looks like, yeah, they only sell children's clothes. I got both of them because I figured why not? Uh, there's a couple listings on Poshmark that are pretty high. Um, but I couldn't really find them in the resale market all like that. These are some loft pants. I've been waiting for these to go on sale. They originally wanted 15 for them. Nobody's paying that. Uh, they went down to six. I got them for a dollar. They're size 10 blue loft floral pants. I just think they're so cute. And I've been waiting on them because I knew eventually you wait long enough, they'll go on sale. Uh, these are J. Crew toothpicks, size 25. They're a blue and white grid print. Skinny pant. Cute. I actually really like this. I wish uh, Flip took J. Crew and Banana Republic and Loft, but I understand. Um, do they take Not Your Daughter's Jeans? Did I look that up already? They take Design Lab. Or it doesn't get flagged, at least. Sometimes when you put um, it through the system, it'll like it'll come back that you need to like edit your lot. Because there's a brand that's unsupported. These are Not Your Daughter's Jeans. A size... So I really need... Um, this big old sticker that's in here. I don't think that's supposed to be in here. I have one large bin. We'll large it up. Um, one medium bin. Two extra smalls and two smalls. So I need mediums. So let me not be giving away my medium like that. These are six though, they're a small. So not daughter's jeans. Hi Andrea. It's crazy though because I've gotten some brands that they don't take. So I don't know. I think sometimes and then I've heard some people say they don't take Lane Bryant and they took my Lane Bryant. So I just be testing it, but they're gonna take those. I know that's for sure. Oh look, Megan, because we both got good taste. These are Zara. There are six. I'm gonna list these. They're like a snake skin gray skinny jean. I thought I got a lot for flip, but maybe I didn't. I probably got like 20 items because I still be wanting shit for myself. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, you're going to make more money selling it yourself. But a girl got a lot of stuff to sell. Like, a lot of these tops can go to them. This is True, True Bay. Um, I believe I saw that at Nordstrom. Little polyester long sleeve faux wrap blouse. Let's see, let's see. They take Blue Rain, surprisingly, and Love Fire, because I tried both of those at the thrift store. So I didn't know if I was going to buy the tops, and I was like, I'm not going to buy them if uh, Flip doesn't take them. Okay, that's not getting flagged. This will go to them. Um, 
Oh, I smack my lips hard. I'm talking about Flip. It's a really cool app. Um, I have a referral code up here if you want to try it. Hopefully, that takes um, you to, like, the right thing. It says code equals. Hopefully, like, inputs my information. But... Yeah, because I'm going to be salty if I click it and it doesn't, like, give me my flowers, you know. But it's pretty much um, an ad made for resellers. And I'm listing some of my 80 cent items on there for other resellers to sell for me. And they'll just send me part of the money. Uh, Banana Republic size 4 Sloan's. Sloan's usually sell for about 18 I got these for myself. They're Levi's extra large. I paid four bucks for them. And there's some light blue uh, crop joggers. But I thought they were really expensive. Not expensive. <laughs> really comfy. They, I know they were probably expensive retail. But really comfy casual. Um, so I have three pairs of pants for me so far. Because last week, y'all know I got four. And yeah, they didn't work out. Yes, Jojo, I'm very excited for Vegas. Hi, Anna, or Anna. I, so, I'd be so worried about mispronouncing people's names that sometimes I try to, like, find a way to not say y'all's names because I'm just, like, so worried. But y'all can always correct me. There is that option. These are Jouage, Way, whatever, size large. Um, and they are called the Mariner Pants. I paid like bucks for these and they sell really good. Black with a little cuff. Look, Jojo, I might have to hit you up. I feel like we're gonna be so busy though. This is my best friend. I feel like she's trying to um, go to Vegas at least once a year. This is her second year in a row going. Um. But I know we're going to have fun. Okay. That's out the way. This is Vince Camuto, size small. My Vince Camuto is going to flip. They can have it. Little small top. Um, there is a mark. Dang. There's a couple marks on the back. I might still list it, though, because if somebody accepts a lot, they can always, like, tell you, like, I don't want that item, or I don't think I can sell that item. Um, I just wouldn't put too many flawed items in the same lot, you know, because then nobody's going to want to bid on it. This is Susie Shear, extra small, little $18 top. Let's see if they take it. I feel like Vince Camuto has to be really cute for me to sell it, honestly. Or else it sits. Like, but even tops that I thought were really cute and really good sizes have sat for months, so yeah, they can have it. Lucky Brand, small. They definitely take Lucky Brand. They can have that. Um, I just listed this same sanctuary top in white in a different size. And I feel like they would, yeah, they take Sanctuary. Sanctuary sold at Nordstrom. Shoes I would wear with this. Um, or what look I would be going for. Or what, I just don't know. But I have to try it on. It's a 14, though. It's probably not even going to fit me. Mm, that bust is pretty big. I'm going to try it on. Maybe I'll like the silhouette. Maybe I won't. Um, when you lot them, do you have to do it by size or brand? Nope. I was literally just pulling out shit randomly and taking photos. I made like three six-piece lots. Um, I could have put them all in one lot together. I might do it next time, but I was just trying to get it out my way. Uh, this is Connected Apparel, size 12. Uh, I wouldn't have got this if it didn't have this like little Peter Pan collar bejeweled neck piece. 
But it's a basic navy blue, like, sheath dress. It's nothing to write home about. And this is Chad Wiggs, 14 Petite. Nothing to write home about. I told y'all there were so many resellers and regular shoppers in the dress aisle. I got these couple of dresses and left. And these are, like, some $15 dresses. Like, oh, and I got this one, which is actually cute. Um, it's by Out From Under, which I... Let me check. I think is Anthropology or one of them, you know. Yeah, 66170 is the RN number. But it's this really cute blue floral romper. It looks like a mini dress, but it's not. It's a romper. And this is the back. It has this big open detail. But I thought that was really cute. So that's my winner. Thank y'all. That's my winner for my dresses that I got. Uh, you got three lots and list them and haven't sold a thing yet. I have one lot that I got from a girl that, you know, you get three months to sell the items. It's finna expire, and I just sold the first item, like, two weeks old, and the buyer didn't pay on eBay. Um, but I already told her I sold, so I paid her out. I pretty much paid her for the dress at this point. And then I had a dress sell last night, and on Mercari, and the buyer's like, can you please cancel the order, this, that, and the fourth? And I'm like, fuck it, I canceled it. But I already told her that it sold. So I pretty much bought two dresses off of her. <sighs> but, yeah, you never know how long it's going to take something to sell. These are old Lily Pulitzer, size 2. Really good money, though. They are some anchor print white jeans. Definitely selling those myself. Page size 24. Like a deep purple burgundy wax jean. They're tiny. Adrian Vitadini size 6. Navy blue. Little straight leg pants. Those are going to go to flip. They take Adrian Vitadini. Um, I don't know if they take Joe B. Let me look that up, though, because these can go to them. These are new with tags. I feel like people always like seeing that. These are new with tag Joe B size three pants. Only got them because they were new with tags. And they're just some, some gray slacks. Wow, yeah, YouTube's trying to play me, JoJo. And yeah, Megan, Vince Camuto is really just hit or miss. But when I see Vince, I've been finding Vince low-key a lot. Well, and it's crazy because I'll find, you know, like I'll see Paige every weekend. I'll see Hudson every weekend. I'll see Vince every weekend. It's just, am I going to wait for it to maybe get to Dollar Day and then me possibly get it? Or am I going to pay up now for it? Um, so I was, I've been paying up a lot more often for, um, Vince and all my Vince Camuto is going straight to flip. I'm pretty sure they take cabby. They have to. These are some cabby white jeans size extra small. I cannot be bothered with old tag cabby, nor can I be bothered with extra smalls. So, these will go. But, you know, surprisingly, I had sold, like, a bunch of white jeans one weekend. So, I'm like, maybe I should sell these. I'm going to sell them. <laughs> these are Gloria Vanderbilt. New tag, size 12. They don't take her, so I have to sell these, or else I would have let them have those. This is a LuLaRoe cardigan. Um, these sell pretty quick for me. I always put a beach cover-up in the description. Put cardigan too, but quick little 15 to 20 bucks. Oh, I got this 100% um, silk vintage Talbot's top. Very old Talbot's tag. It has shoulder pads. But it's a silk top for 80 cents. New with tag vintage.
Uh, this is the new attack love fire top I got love fire is uh, Cole's juniors it only retail for 36 um, flip can have it has a elastic waist or elastic band at the end of the sleeve thankfully that's about the only thing saving it do they take let's see if they take Lauren Conrad Because I know they don't take L. Because it's, you know, um, Cole's brand. It doesn't look like it got flagged. This is an extra large. Lauren Conrad floral top. I might list that myself. Um, just black size 29 jeans. Have you guys ever sold just black? Should I put these in the flip pot and just let somebody else sell them? They're not really interesting to me, but if they make good money, I'll sell them myself. If it's worth it for me to sell them. Uh, these are DKY, and it's a little brown, like, probably cotton linen jacket with the waterfall front. That can go to flip. Oh. Um, Calvin Klein blazer, size two. They take Calvin Klein, and I'm over selling these blazers for 15 to 20 bucks so somebody else can sell them. What is that? Oh. Oh, like maybe I thought it was a big ass sensor. I think it was just the button. <laughs> oh, you've never sold just black before. Fly brand list still got me. On right, they don't take love J. Crew, um, PCBG, but take Hollister and packs on right. Uh, this is Jane and Delancey. Do y'all know about them? It's a really cute shirt, it's giving me um, TJ Maxx though. Why are they done auto correcting my shit to Jane and Delaney? I'm pretty sure this is Delancey. It's a cute little top. It has like some darting, some pleated details, button front. So let me uh, stop relying on y'all for comps. And let me just educate the people. Ooh. I usually put five to six items in my lots. I'll probably make like a 10 piece one though this time. I'll probably start trying to do them like 10 a piece. Um, sorry, I'm looking at these pants. Just black. Okay, they're not really popping up. A pair sold for $8. Um, so yeah, that's not giving me much to work. And it looks like Flip does take them. So they can have those jeans. I have so many pants. It's full. It is TJ Maxx. You were just there. Okay. They might take it though. So I'll put that in there just in case they take it. Um, this is Carolina Bell, size small. I don't know about them, but the shirt is cute. So I'm going to keep it myself and list it. This is another TJ Maxx top. Uh, it is Style Envy, size small. New with tags. A cute little collared, cropped, tie front, long sleeve, button down. Universal thread, which is Target. Large top. I thought this was really cute. It has the big old sleeves, three-fourths. It's textured. And a little cropped. This is Adriana Papel, size a large. I'll send this in to flip. It's basic. It's just a polka dotted blouse. Yeah, you can put a lot, JoJo. I've gotten, um, there will be people who have like 25 items in a lot. And they take, I'm not sure if the, like how much money they take changes. 
because all of mine said they were going to take nine bucks once my stuff started selling to recoup the shipping fee. Um, and all of my labels were either five or six pound labels. So they probably just go on how many items you put in there. Excuse me. Uh, this is Abercrombie and Fitch. They do take Abercrombie and Fitch size small. And this is just like a tunic top. And shoot, you guys can always find me on there and apply to, uh, <laughs> sell my lots if you want. And you need inventory. This is not your daughter's jeans. Animal print, but the front blows. All these tops I got. Oh, these are the skirts I got. Uh, Ann Taylor, six petite. I thought this was so cute. I think it's missing a belt. But this little plaid pencil skirt, like, are you kidding me? So cute. This is Order J. Crew. Uh, it's a size zero. It's 100% cotton. Uh, it's probably like 2010. No, older than that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking tags stuck together. Uh, 2006. But this skirt is so cute. It has stripes. And then it has a navy blue hem. Like a real hem. It's so cute. So I couldn't care less if it's from 2006. Uh, watch somebody buy it. This is a size 8 loft skirt. Yellow pencil skirt. It's more golden. It's popping up. There it goes. There it goes the true color. Yeah. Really cute yellow skirt. Yeah, these are all the skirts I got. They had this really cute anthropology. I forget. I think the brand was like Laya or some shit like that. Um, anthropology pleated skirt, but they wanted, I would have had to pay eight bucks for it. And I was like, I'll wait until next week. It'll probably still be here. So hopefully it's there next week. I think yellow tags are going to be half off next week. Um, the average payout. So you take so you take your phone and you just take a picture of the front. Uh, Abercrombie and Fitch. You hit gently used. You type size small. You can put as many items as they let you. And then you submit it. And they list the lot for you. And they pretty much try to match you with somebody in the system who they think would be best fit for you and somebody who's applied to sell a lot. They're not just giving people your clothes that don't want to sell those brands or those sizes. So you can lot sizes together if you think that's important. Um, I would definitely lot similar brands together. You don't want to lot, you know, a fucking Chanel blazer with some Aeropostale jeans. Like if you're going to list Aeropostale jeans, you should be listing, you know, put your American Eagle in there, put your, you know, all of those type of brands in that same lot. If you're going to have a bundle, do like Paige and Hudson and Rag and Bone and like Eileen Fisher, you know. So I would put things that you think are going to be priced around the same, around the same. Um, but people will apply to sell your lot and they will give you what they think. They give you like a commission rate. I usually do a 50-50 payout. Or a 60-40 payout because if you do 50-50 with somebody and you sell something for $20, Poshmark wants you to send that person $10. They don't care that Poshmark took four. You got to eat that cost up yourself. Um, so you'd only be making six bucks on a 50-50 transaction that sold for 20. So you might want to put your payouts at 60-40. It also depends on you know, if, if somebody, if it's all American Eagle, like 60, 40, 70, 30 makes sense. Um, they're lower end brands. They're not going to sell for much. You're doing a lot of work for not that much money, but if they're like Paige and Hudson, you might want to do like a 50, 50. Um, but they're going to match you with somebody who's applied and then, uh, they give you their commission rate. They give you the estimates of what they think they can sell the items for. It doesn't tell you what they think they can sell the items for. It just tells you the range of how much money they think they'll pay you out. So like my five piece lot, it says like 50 to 70 bucks. 
that's cool. I paid like four dollars for those items. Um, so you know, it's quick money if you have like a good wall outlet or you know, like me, just have 20 extra items that you want to put on there every week instead of listing them yourself. Um, yeah, it's a consignment app. Well, thank you, Megan. I need, yeah, I need to start using the whole cottage core, granny core. Um, excuse me, the light academia, dark academia, all of that. This is Jones, New York. Uh, I don't think, I don't think they take Jones, New York. I think that is one I typed in and they were like, no, ma'am. Yeah, no, ma'am. <laughs> they do not take Jones, New York. This is a really cute floral uh, pop over top though. I will sell it myself. Banana Republic, size small. They don't take Banana Republic. Plaid button up, little $18 holla. This is Blue Fire. They do take Blue Fire, which is like a TJ Maxx brand. And I didn't want this much anyways, because it's probably only going to sell for like 15 to 20 bucks. So I paid 80 cents for it. Somebody else can sell it for that much and send me, you know, my little five bucks. And I'm done with it. I don't have to take no photos. I don't have to edit no photos. I don't have to ship no item out. I don't have to deal with no customers. This is Loft Medium Three Floral Blouse. White House Black Market. They do take, but I'm not sending them this top. Size 14. Really cute top. It has the velvet detailing, long sleeve. Lucky brand size medium. Uh, another not your daughter's jeans top size small. Yeah, they have it on iPhone. Girl, I posted my link. I'm about to pin it. Oh shit. I'm almost done. I'm hungry. I don't know what we're doing for dinner tonight. I've been doing HelloFresh. Listen, if y'all need a HelloFresh code, them HelloFresh dinners banging. Last night we had tilapia with um, jasmine ginger rice and a scallion pesto made by yours truly. And it was good as hell if I do say so myself. And then the other night, what did we make? We had a pasta, we had some cheddar burgers. What was the other one we just made? I cannot remember it. Uh, this is J Jill size medium. Plaid button down. The Hello Fresh, 10 out of 10. Thank you girl, hopefully they give me my, uh, my, my credit. I'm Pretty sure you can sell men's on there. It's just not a lot. And then most people on there do sell women's clothing. So you might not get as many um, people applying to sell a men's lot. So, but I'm, yeah, there's men's on there. You're allergic to tilapia, Jojo. I'm so sorry, girl. Ivanka Trump, extra large. Calvin Klein medium. This will go to flip. Calvin Klein, DKNY. They can have it. Because look at all this other stuff I got to list. Ink, size large. This is a cute little floral blouse. Adriana Popel, size large. Is that other one... You know, when you be shopping, you don't, you don't realize shit. You just be buying stuff. So this is a large, and I think, yeah, this is a large. Same top. Should I list them myself then? Because the same buyer might buy both of them. No, I don't feel like it. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's why Flip exists. Oops. So I'm gonna list this shit. I haven't had anything, you know, I'm hyping them up. I haven't had anything sell on there, but I have sold for other people and I've made like a hundred bucks off of free inventory. So if you need free inventory, definitely, you know, get on there. Calvin Klein Medium. Like I said, Calvin Klein. I'm gonna flip all these little polyester blouses. Don't want them. This is W5. Sometimes sold in anthropology. Let's see about this one. Nope. W5. Little textured bell sleeve yellow blouse. Yeah, me listing 91 items this week. And that's not even a lot of items that I really flip. Like, this is new tag jewels. Don't know anything about them, but it's new tags. So, y'all know I love these. I love selling these. Another ink top, size 10. Just like a little chambray. Let's see if they take ink. <clears throat> Because they can have this one. I like the other one. Oh, no, they don't take. They do not take international concepts. Lauren Conrad, extra small. They do take Lauren Conrad, though. And they can have that extra small top. Or it didn't get flagged in their system, for me at least. This is Marisa's size zero. Marisa's usually sells pretty quick for me. So I will list this myself. And then, what is the last top I have here? Some loft pants. Size large. Oh, a loft skirt. <laughs> Cute little stretchy loft skirt. That is it. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at... You can't, you can't tell, but... It's just, this inventory everywhere. All of that needs... Photo that needs listed. I photographed 50 items this morning. Busy, busy girl. I just be working, working, TV, smoking, eating. I'm really a homebody, and I think I'm really like realizing that that I really just sit in my house and mind my business. I mean, not the worst thing to do, you know, but um. The real real is going good. I was going to mention that. I sent them in, y'all know, a couple of items a little ways back. And I'm supposed to have June 15th. Tomorrow is my payout. And I'm supposed to have a $208 payout, which will pay for me and my boyfriend's payment on our Rolling Loud ticket for this month. Thankfully, it's nice having, you know, those little... Bits of money coming in from different places. And my commission so far this month is $16. Um, don't know what that's on. Let me probably this David Meister silk dress. Sold for $40. I made $16. And let's see how much I paid for that. Just for shits and giggles. Probably $0.80. Cents. Yeah, $0.80. Cents. So I definitely made my money back and more. I have a couple of items that I want to send them in, but um, I haven't linked with the girl again. But I think I'm going to more so source online to send into the real real. And that's what I was doing for Thread Up Lux. I was doing a lot of sourcing on the Goodwill.com website, on their auctions, eBay auctions, uh, Poshmark bundles. And that's how I was doing um a lot for thread up looks because some of these brands like you know i could send in page and hudson and rag and bone but i'm not gonna make much i would rather sell them myself um i'd rather send in you know the top dogs the shit i gotta pay 20 30 bucks for online but i'm gonna make a couple hundred so it's worth it um but yeah i'm tired I've been here for an hour. Shout out to me. Shout out to y'all as well for sticking through this with me. I hope you guys enjoyed my live. Um, hopefully learned something. That's hopefully, you know, the goal. 
and to pick up more bread and butter brands because they do sell. Um, but I'm tired and hungry. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, a good rest of your week. And uh, yeah, make good choices. And I will see you next Monday. Yeah, I don't think I have anything on the agenda. We get a new couch this Wednesday. I'm so excited. Um, next Monday, I will see you guys at 6 p.m. EST. Uh, yeah, try flip if you haven't. Because that's definitely, yeah, you can clear out some of your inventory. And for me, I think it's just going to allow me to source more. Like, there are weekends I don't want to go to the thrift store. And even if I have too much inventory, I can still go. Because I could just make sure I get all brands they accept and just sell them on there and still make money. Um, so, you know, money to be made. Bye, y'all. I'll talk forever if you let me. Peace out. I'll see you next Monday. Bye. Love y'all.